A bomb threat forces Maricopa County Animal Care and Control to evacuate the building, including veterinarians and staff who were performing surgery on dogs. Foxton's Lauren Clark joins us live with the latest on this story tonight. Hey there, Mark and Christina. According to Maricopa County Sheriff's deputies, this call came in around 10 a.m., forcing the evacuation of volunteers, staff members, and two dogs that were just waking up post-surgery. Now, we're going to be seeing that the building is currently open and open to the public, uh, but officials are warning anyone who takes a phone call a step too far. I heard that there's a situation, there's been a phoned in threat and we need to evacuate the building immediately. Kim Powell says a typical morning at the Maricopa County Animal Care and Control Facility off Lower Buckeye and 27th Avenue was flipped upside down with one phone call. MCSO says mid morning, a caller threatened to blow the facility up, forcing everyone to evacuate immediately. Two dogs that they were working on were uh, just getting closed up and they still needed to wake up from anesthesia. So we took them with us. Uh, we did take two dogs uh, on a gurney just so we can monitor them while they while they wake up. Staff waited in a building across the street as deputies and canines did a security sweep. The ordeal forced a closure for several hours, saddening those who drove over to adopt a dog, but instead arrived to the site of sirens and law enforcement vehicles. It's very crazy. Who would even want to do that, right, Betty? Who would want to threaten a dog place? Ducked. This is an animal shelter. Who, who does a bomb threat against an animal shelter? That's, I'm blown away by that. Deputies later determined the building was safe. The exact details of the call remain unclear. You know, animal welfare is an emotional uh, line of work. You can look at any of our Facebook, Instagram comments, and you can see there's always a number of emotions running through those comments. And it's a shame that someone took the rhetoric to a different step and put our staff, our volunteers, and our animals in potential harm. Meanwhile, Fields Mosley with the county warns that calls like this will not be tolerated and violators will be held accountable to the fullest extent of the law. Uh, county management, the Board of Supervisors, they take any sort of threat toward employees extremely seriously. Yeah, and staff here at this building are working hard to get back on track after this evacuation pushed back their operations for a bit. Reporting live here in Phoenix, Lauren Clark, Fox 10 News.